Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Corey, and today we are gonna do some more Battle Snake. It's been oh, about a week, I think, week and a half, maybe even since my last stream. So give me a second to get uh, get comfortable and get ready. But today we're gonna do some more Battle Snake. So last time I streamed, which was a Sunday, I think a week and a half ago or so, we were working on uh, figuring out why matchmaking for the Battle Snake leaderboards seem to be a, a bit weird seemed like there were some bugs so we are going to take a look at that again today um but i think i lost my music in my ear let me go check it out not sure what's going on with my uh with my music Quit this app and open it back up again. Oh. Let's see, is it just gonna sign in? Okay, perfect. There we go. Awesome, okay. Sorry for that, but we seem to be good to go now. I'm sorry, I'm messing with my iPad now. Okay. Let's get started. So we're going to take a look at the matchmaking on the leaderboard. So if we look through, and actually I had a, a notepad. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so this is some of the investigation that we did last week. So um, let's look at, we're going to look at the standards duels leaderboard, and we're going to look for Alpha Zero Duct. Um, or is this by, oh, it's by uh, Snake name now. So, oh, okay, so they actually um, made it, oh, well, actually, no, that might not be surprising, right? Because they're in a high position, but they're getting matched against lower snakes, or that's what was happening. Yeah, and they're getting negative points for each of these wins. Um, but it's also interesting that they're now in 12th place. Oh, wait, no, maybe that's how it always was. I guess I don't remember. Um, but they're definitely still not getting matched against snakes where it makes sense. Helen Kleller. Let's see where they are. Oh, who makes that? Oh, nice. Same. Yeah, they're at 102. Okay, so yeah. We still need to figure out what's going on with their matchmaking. Um... So Alpha Duct Zero is going to be the name of our snake. And let's see some of the stuff that we looked at last time. Um, okay, so here's the arena ranking.py that handles the true skill updating after games are completed. Um, there's the minimum games required for duels. Oh, games played. I'm not sure why some of these are indented from others. I think I kind of uh, I'm getting confused from last time, but that's okay. Um, so let's check out. Uh, so I'm probably gonna pull open the admin dashboards again, like last time. And when I do that, I will pull up a little secrets thing on stream, so I don't show any uh, PII and PHI. Um, but the other thing is, I'm actually gonna pull up the Discord here, it's the Battle Snake Discord. I also have my own Discord. If you want to come chat with me, you can find the links in my GitHub profile. We're going to look at, I don't actually know where it was. Okay, the using the old scoring will display is showing true skill. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking, was that maybe there was a config that we wanted to flip. So let's take a look at the code again. Um, and we're in the play repo here. And where did I say? Um, so there was arena and then ranking, but I think I actually want to be in it different place okay so here's the different matching systems um and so i think i wanted to find out which matching system we're using yeah see so i uh kind of forgot some of the context of this from a week and a half ago so i'm gonna re-remind myself how some of these work but actually the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull up the admin dashboard 
and look up what these are set to. I chatted with some of the Battlesnake devs who worked on this code, and they uh, think that the config is is like you know as designed, right? So it's it's the config is correct, but I want to pull exactly what it's set to right now for duels, so that I know which code to look at to to see what what is going on. So I'm gonna switch to secrets, and I'm gonna pull up the admin dashboard. So give me just one second. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking for a leaderboard snake. And I have their name. They're in standard duels. Perfect. Okay. Um so let's see. Can I I think I can, I think I'm fine with this. Um here is all of this information um we can just leave actually let's save that so i can find it somewhere actually yeah there i'll pull it up right there dude i know you can't see this but that's okay stream uh can i not open this picture in the browser it doesn't it doesn't like it doesn't like that oh that's interesting um Okay, let's just open it in preview then. That's fine. I don't know why. That would have been weird. Okay, cool. And then let's pull up. Do the same search for Hobbs so I can have that data as well in the standard duels. Um, and I'm actually going to include the name in this one so I can tell them apart. Okay, and let's get that opened as well. Okay, awesome. Now let me close the admin dashboard and switch out of secrets mode. Oh wait, no, not... I didn't actually do the thing I wanted, so let me not switch out quite quite yet. I actually want to look at the leaderboard for what it's configured at right now. Leaderboard? I don't think it's... Is it? Is it called the arenas? Oh yes, there are, there are arenas in code. Okay, uh, so it's this. Rating mode is score. I'm just gonna save a few screenshots. Okay. And then pull up this last screenshot. Okay, awesome. And now I should have all of these pulled up. Okay, cool. And I can come out of secrets mode now and switch back to preview out of secrets yay okay so here's the screenshots that i grabbed from admin so it's duels is set to league rank matchmaking so it's supposed to match so you know league rank is what we're going to look for and the rating mode is score um so we're gonna look so those are those are some informations and then over here we have hobbs this is their uh, leaderboard snake. So this is the Mu, Sigma, and Score that um, like come from True Skill, I believe. And then we have the Mu, Sigma, and Score from True Skill for um, the other snake we're looking at, uh, Alpha Zero Duct. Um, I cut off their name here, but that that that's them over here. And actually, could I could I mark that up? It doesn't want me to. Um, so, uh, so the, the, there's what we've got over there and yeah okay cool so now i think we're good to look at the code here wow it was only two losses that's that's so crazy okay um tier points current number of ladder tier points yeah so i think this tier points thing is maybe relevant but let's trace it back a different way match mode league rank league uh, so actually let's search for the string oh well league rank okay well league rank with a space in it yep okay that is matched to league rank underscore perfect but i guess i probably just want to search for this constant um if we do that then we do league matching system generate match rounds perfect okay split everyone up by tier inside each tier generate matches as best as possible and the other thing that I didn't copy down, but I'm pretty sure there's just one tier. Like, everyone's in the same tier right now, so we don't really have to worry about the tiers too much. 
find all the snakes for this arena ordered by Mew. Collect matchable leaderboard snakes by tier into tiers. Okay. I'm just trusting the comments here. Support creating up to two times the number of requested rounds to try and ensure at least one snake in each pool tests the minimum number of matches, aka number rounds. Okay, so we make a lot. We make a big array. Snakes by tier items. Okay, so this is in a tier. We look at each, all the snakes. We sort them by tier points. Yeah, see, I don't think this wants to sort by tier points. I think this is wrong. Um, to do. Determine if we should sort by something other than tier points here. Do we need to use the, uh, what is it called, the rating mode? Here as well? I think that's the issue. Um, I, I think that in league matching system here, in league matching, when we sort the snakes, we do it by tier points. But tier points, according to this, is the current number of ladder tiers it's only relevant in ladder arenas well i guess this like i don't know what if this is a ladder arena but i don't think tier points is what we want to be sorting on i think we want to be sorting on score because score is what we're rating mode score so like that's what we're actually sorting by and doing the ratings by but i don't think this is taking that into account um so are there unit tests? Like, are there tests for this? Um, tests. Yes. Love it. Um, okay. So let's see. Um, so I think I just want to make a new test here. The end of this file. I also don't know how to run these tests yet, but that's okay. Test. Um. Sort. By score. And then I want to do like a self- Assert equals, yeah, we'll just do something that I know is going to fail till I learn how to uh, run these. Okay, added a test. Does the readme tell me how to run the tests? Test. Um, dev dependencies. Okay, well, actually, that's fair. I probably should. I don't know if I've actually even done dev dependency things. Oh, hey, people in chat. Um, Ambidoon, is score the conservative estimate true skill users of mu something times sigma? Yes, I believe so. Um, and we can prove that to ourselves in one second. Let me pip install these things, and I don't even have a ver like, I'd be trying to use the dev container. I'm just going to pollute my global Python. It's fine. Um, okay. Um, hey, how's it going, Ambidoon? Uh, so, I can answer your question, and I think you are correct, but let's prove it by finding that piece of code, which I think I called out in my notes. Uh, arena ranking.py. Um, this is what I called out to myself as saying is, and yeah, so this definitely mentions true skills, where we're doing the math. Um, and let's see, new rating minimum sigma, update leaderboard snake, there we go, there we go, okay, uh, so we take, we do two score on the new score, and we save mu sigma and score, so it definitely looks like it, but let's follow two score, um, it's, yeah, so it is. this. We do true skill expose with the rating, which is something in the Python library. It's it's. I think expose might be doing that. And then rescaling it 
is just doing some logarithmic shifts. Um, or maybe this is... Logistic function that maps the input between 0 and 1. Uh, so it's it's similar. I think the, the mu minus something to the sigma was in expose maybe is where I found that last time. I'm not positive about that though. It might just be in the rescale because the log logistic, okay. <laughs> 1 over... yeah, see, that's not exactly the same. It, that, I th but I think that's definitely in the right areas, and I don't know the true skill math well enough to know exactly, but I think, I think that's definitely the right areas of code. Um, but cool, I, I got my pips installed. Let me see if I can keep... oh, I was looking at the readme. But I don't really want to, like... Manage Pi does all. Ah, there we go. Unit tests. Uh, can't open. Is it in source? No. Can't import Django. Are you sure it's installed? Um. Well, I did just do the pip install. Uh, but that does say it doesn't actually. What if I just like. Oh, wait a sec, there's probably a requirements file, right? Because, like, that's how things work. Um, pip install f requirements.txt? No. Pip, is it just dash file? No. Uh. Install requirement, okay. There we go. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. I am pretty sure this is our bug, but I'm not exactly positive how easy it's going to be to fix it, but that's okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, let's just try it anyways and see... If it yells at me, it definitely did. Okay, um, I could try to do the dev containers. Let's see. Um, dev containers, speeding up local test runs. Great, but like, what about the dev containers? Um, if you'd rather run your environment, first suggested setup. Yep. Yeah. Dev container. Um, add dev container attached to running cleanup dev containers. I open attached container configuration file. I don't actually know if I know how to do that. I could probably just push up a branch and let CI figure it out as well. Um, and maybe I'll end up doing that. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, match making uh, fixes. Let's get optimistic and think they're going to be fixes. Um, we added a to-do comment, which should be fine. And then we're going to add this failing test. Okay, awesome. Okay. To add failing test. Um, that's it. I had failing test. That's all. Okay, let's see if CI is gonna pick that up. Um... Match making experiments. Ready to draft pull request. Awesome. Okay, cool. I just wanted to get tests running in CI, which it looks like they are. 
I imagine we will do some actual test running. Yes, we'll run Django tests after we do formatting and linting. Um, so hopefully we get past those, but we will see. Ooh, make. Oh, is there like a make test? No. There is a make file, though, it seems like. Make test. Oh. Dang. I was gonna try them. Um, I, yeah, I don't think I have black installed. I don't know what that is. Um, it might just be the Python formatter, maybe? I think I've heard of that. Uh, sure. I'll install make. I don't use make a lot, so I don't really need the make file tools, but it can't be bad to have. Okay. Awesome. We made it to Django tests. This should fail now because I added a specifically failing test. Python formatter. Cool. Yeah, I think I'd heard of that. Um, awesome. Things look like we're getting set up. Okay, so let's actually work on setting up a better failing test. So, like, we need to make some snakes. Seven snakes in a single tier to represent the worst case for matchmaking. Okay, uh, I don't know if I need that, but let's make some. Uh, create fake snake self.arena. Where's self.arena getting set up? Is that just in, like, setup? Yep. Uh, arena. Okay, awesome. Match mode. Match mode. Match mode has got to be league rank rating mode. Yep, okay. Um... Okay, I might need to do some of this myself, only because like, I think I need to set up my arena a little differently first, because, um, like, match mode, I want, like, rating mode, I think. Um, wow, that was a good completion. It's not what I wanted, but it was a good one. A uh, rating mode of score. Rating mode of score. Oops. Okay, test failed there. Perfect. Rating mode dot score. Um, cool. We make some snakes, except I don't know if I want to use this because... Um, current tier. So can I just do score equals zero? And also pass score equals score? I think so. Okay, score and score. Um, so now I can use create leaderboard snake again. Um, and actually, let's do this a little differently. Min match size. I think I want that to be two. I'm pretty sure min match match size is the uh, number of snakes in a game, I think. Um, so let's do seven. Then I don't really know what I'm going to need in terms of numbers. Um, but I think what I need to do is... So I think if I do one where I do score and tier points as being like completely reversed. So, um, well actually let's do another thing. So this needs to also do tier points. Tier points is equal to zero and pass these through as well. Um, yep, awesome. Um, okay, so now what I can do is I can say create some where the score equals I. Do I have an I? Yep. And uh, tier points. Points equals seven minus I. Uh, so they're, they're, they're backwards of each other, and I think that's like my worst case scenario in terms of matchmaking here. Um, okay, so we got my snakes. Match rounds is doing something like this. Okay. So we make the match rounds. Oh, wait, what do we do with... 
leaderboard snakes. Oh, wait, they just exist. Interesting. Um, okay, so then they assert that they made between 10 and 20 of them, because they asked for 10 of them. Okay, I'm just going to copy these for the moment. Um, and then we look at the matches. For a match, we find the IDs. And assert equals the length of matched IDs. Oh, so like how many sn or match or snake match? This mod just is confusing me, but I don't think I need to understand that test, I guess. What am I trying to test in matchmaking? Um... That you're matched with people close to you. But I don't know how to, like, say that. Matches one too many, matches exactly enough, not enough, any tier, not enough. Yes, yeah, so these are all about, like, split leaderboard snakes into tiers. Single tier, yep, so we make one tier. But that's not what I really want to do. Um, let's just create like one. I don't really think I need a lot of these. I don't think that's a useful assertion for me. Um, so four match in match rounds. Um. Matches in match round. Or matches in match rounds. Yep. Or match in matches. For match in matches. Oh. Um, okay, so for the matches, then I can get snakes out. Well, actually, it does it in a weird order. Matched IDs for match in matches. It's just like seeing how many snakes are matched in general. It's fine, I just don't really get it. For yep, so now for snake in match. Um self dot assert. Lots of asserts, that's nice. Is there like a between? Nah. Assert um, equals. Uh, I don't know. That's not really. That doesn't really make sense. So for the snakes in a match, I like want to diff them. Um. Self. Yeah. Yeah. That. Uh, length of match is two because there's two snakes. Yep. Um. Uh, so then, like, what do I want to do? Find, like, the, the absolute value of two things in Python? Sure. Uh, Python abs a array. I don't want NumPy. Uh, max of the absolute value of things. So list comprehension, but I don't think list comprehension... So can I just do absolute value of the array that I have? Um, self uh, assert equal. Oh yeah, make sure their scores are the same. Like that's not what I want at all, but um, that would do something. Um, match is an array of leaderboard snakes. Um, we make sure there's the match, and like, so this isn't right. Like, they definitely don't have the same score. That doesn't make sense. Um, and I don't really want to have to push things up to make a, uh, to run tests, because that does not sound very enjoyable to me. Um, 
dev container docker file pip install prepare yeah that oh oh okay there's a test one i see that's fine let's try that Thank you for the follow. I believe that was Ambidoon. I appreciate it. Uh, and thanks for hanging out. It's always fun. Um, okay. So. That says it installed things, but I have a feeling it's still not gonna like running. Um. Uh, that doesn't help me at all. And why does that look icon say pro? That's pretty funny. I think this is supposed to be the Python or Django icon. Something seems a little messed up. Yeah, it's fun to fun to check out the insides a little bit. But yeah, so this is set to system. Um, what do I, uh, Python like how do what what version of Python? are we using where can i find a version of python somewhere i3 that looks like a python 3 thing that's really all i wanted to know a uh, pym local 3.10.5 then we'll do this pip again this might be better i think i was well definitely was not on the right version of python i have colors and fun things now much much better Yeah, okay. I'm way behind on pips, but that's okay. So this is just make migrations. Oh man, that still didn't work. I really thought that time we were going to have it. Except this pip install does have this test. What if I just do the full requirements? That wasn't any different. Dang. And I'm assuming just this isn't going to work either, because that would be too funny if it did. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I will mean, have to see if I can get my uh, things set up better. Um, but like, what if I just want them to be within one of each other? Absolute value of this is one. And let's just like, can I just extract this to a variable? Uh, for the matches, assert that the score diff is most one, so like they're always right next to each other. No, that doesn't work though, because that doesn't do. That says right next to each other in score. That still might... Wait, did my reversing thing do what I wanted it to do? Or is it... If we think of... Okay. Excaladraw. Sign in. No, I just want, like... Sign in. Yes. Just go. Go. Oh, come on. I don't want to have to deal with off. There we go. Okay. Uh, just make a new one. Awesome. Okay. So one, two, three. I think three. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll make four. Okay. So we've got these things. Um, and then if we reverse them this way, if I do matchmaking based on this number like I would group like these two and these two and if I do matchmaking based on this number I'm still going to group these two and these two they're just at the bottom versus the top so I need a different test case um what can I do I, I, and I can make it way more artificial right so like let's label these uh so tier points is the one I don't care about at all but is the one that is currently used for sorting and then we have another one and we can move all of these over a bit. Uh, and this is score. 
I don't like that there's an enter in here. Awesome. Okay, and this is score. Uh, and this comes from true skill. Cool. Okay. Uh, so if we make cheer points this, that's fine. Um, and then I can make true skills be like, this can be zero. This can be a 100. And these can, these can all be 100. And now matchmaking... No. So I need to make it so matchmaking, if we... Uh, let's say higher numbers are better, right? So matchmaking here is going to say these two can be a group. And these two can be a group. Or, or something, right? And I need that to be different. So I need... This one will be the really high number. Because we're low here. So we're going to be high here. Um, and we'll be high here and these two should be low this will be our example we can do something like this where the first and the last one will be um yeah that's much better everyone else can be zero except the first and the last should be a hundred okay so what did i say i said tier points can just be i i don't care that much um score equals can i do uh python if do do ifs return things no like can i i want i want this i want this kind of thing so i want a ternary with if else it's not awful um it's wait oh wow it's a very strange way to do it though um so it's 100 if i equals equals zero or wait or what i equals seven um else zero why is my ligature turning it into a, that is that oh because we're in python so i'm supposed to type out the word or oh that's amazing do i capitalize or do I not capitalize or do I not capitalize or okay so now what I want to happen let's just make four snakes uh, so I is three um, num snakes equals four in range num snakes I equals num snakes minus one okay there we go um yes it was closed it was closed down here um i did my if else wrong python ternary let's just type in that that's what i'm looking for a else b. yeah that isn't that what i wrote oh my gosh okay return 100 if but we're going to do this. That's. Oh. This isn't just a block. Like, I can't just do this here. I have to just have it be in line like this. I think. Oh, everything's just very upset with me right now. Oh, okay. Lowercase, and then everything's better. Um, and then I probably don't need these, though. That was just me trying to fix things. Okay. There we go. I probably don't need these ones, either. Cool. Okay, so we're making four snakes. And we're doing it like my examples. So, if I say, generate match rounds, what is this number? Num rounds. Inside each year, generate matches as best as possible. Oh, uh, what if I just want one round? Yeah, let's do one round. Um, support creating up to two times the number of requested rounds to try and ensure at least one snake in each pool test the minimum number of matches, aka num rounds. Yeah, see, so that's confusing to me. Um, and I don't know exactly what it's trying to tell me. I just want to get a failing test case that I can fix. 
<laughs> um, I don't think I want. Wait, match mode is league rank. League match mode tiers. Well, that's interesting. Tiers too many usages. Um, well, that's also interesting. I still want to write this test case, but now I'm confused if there is a different spot that I should be writing my test case. That's where I am now. Yeah, so there's not a lot of tests that do league rank. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's just keep going. Um, so, okay. So now that we have my matches, I say four matches in match runs. So you either made one or two matches. I don't know. And what is a match? A match round is a round of battle snake games so i think we would pass this like a hundred in the evening so that there's some number of games such that every snake has a hundred things that makes sense to me and then so for each match in the matches yeah okay so for each match let's do an assert equals here so dot assert equals assert almost equals. Like I don't know what that means, but I love it. Oh uh, yeah, there's only one match round. There's more match rounds. I don't know. We just I just don't know what's going on. Um And I don't know which order the match rounds are in. So that is just a thing. Um and I want to say that self dot assert contains. Is there like a uh, like is almost equal? I wonder what that is. Almost equals Python almost equals. Uh, oh, so like to the number of decimal places. Oh, that that one's that, that that's actually pretty pretty nifty. Python unit test contains all contains assert instance raises warn log. Uh, that's fine. I can just do okay. Assert um, contains what? No. Uh, assert that a response. Oh whoa! I, I don't want that kind of contains. Uh, I want like includes contains count equal. Whoa. Okay. Uh. Python test array includes. I don't understand how. Oh, so count with the element. Okay. Um, assert. I oh, would just do assert. Can I do assert? Assert true. Assert true. Uh, the count. No, sorry. Uh, matches dot count. 
of the array. Oh no, but I don't want to do the array here. Okay, yeah, so for each match. Um, first snake equals match at zero. If first snake dot tier points is equal to zero, or first snake dot tier points is equal to three. Yep, uh, and this is uh, num snake minus one. Uh, so if the first snake is this, oh uh, yeah. Um, your points right yeah uh, self dot assert equal um second i want match one uh so the score should wait so your points yeah so if you do the first or the last they both should have the a hundred. Um, and then else. Um, I want to do the same things with zeros. I think this makes sure that they matched up correctly. Um, there's always two. If the first snake is one of these, then they both have this score else they both have this score i don't really think this was the best way to do this um python debug array print like how do i output a nice printed array just print um okay cool um, failing test that I think tests the behavior we are looking to fix. Okay. It would be really nice if I could do local testing, but I just pushed it up. So let's see if that does any better this time. We will have to wait for linting here, um, but that didn't take too, too long before. I'm actually going to go grab a glass of water really quick while test runs, so I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Uh-oh. I messed up the formatting and linting. Line 289. Yep, did forget a comma. Um, okay, let's see if we can... Get a virtual one set up. Um, set up virtual env. Yeah, that. How do I just do it? Do I have vmv? Nope. Oh my gosh! Like I don't really want to like care about this. Yeah, like do I have virtual env? Uh, to use VM, create a new. Oh man, 
Okay, this didn't help me at all. Do I want VM? Like, I can download VM, I guess. It's best to create a virtual env. A uh, virtual env called play. Am I now in my play virtual env? Do I know? I don't know. Um, activate. Okay, so I don't think I activate. Okay, I don't even think that's what I wanted. I made this play subdirectory. Okay, so I don't really want that. Um, I guess that's fine though. I don't have bin activate. Yeah, I don't have that. I don't have the activate thingy. Like, I don't actually care about system pollution though. Like that's kind of okay. Um, this is very Windows specific too, which was strange. Yeah, it makes a virtual M. Got it. It says to do the scripts thing, which just I don't have. Weird. Uh, it's actually just gonna be this. Oh, they didn't do anything. Okay, well, and now have I just wasted enough time that things are doing anything different over here? Forgot a comma. Did we get past forgetting a comma? No, we did not. On fi one file would be reformatted. Yeah, okay. Um. Oh, that's at least working. Cool. Okay. Um, CD source. Uh, just run the black formatter. There we go. What did you do? Uh. Oh, it put that on a... Oh, oh. I don't like that, but okay. Okay. Whatever. Oh, wait. I had it broken and it changed it? No, it changed it. Okay, what? I think I'm just going crazy. Yeah, it likes it like that. Isn't this... Am I in a different place in the file than this is? Oh, maybe there's more diffs as well than just that. I don't know. It's fine. Format. Okay. I wonder why this runs, but like the the Django things never do. There's one of the Pythons. Couldn't import. Django. And like this is like, yeah, you already got one. You're good. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Formatting the linting now. Hmm, okay. Yep. That's fair. I do do that. This variable's just never read, so I should just not make it, it says. Which is fair. Yeah, 
it, so it's really just the Django stuff. Okay, so it yelled at me about a lot more than I thought it would, to be honest. Um, ah, I think I wanted to run it like this. Yeah. I did. Yay, okay. Uh, formatting and linting locally this time. Thanks for hanging out, Ambidoon. Have a good evening. And uh, I think we'll get somewhere. We'll, we'll see how much I fight Python, but I think we will get uh, a PR out for this league matchmaking fix. Fingers crossed. But either way, we'll chat with you later. Um, so what is going on with my Python environment? Um, like, I should just do this, this VM thing. Let's just make a VM. It's, it's going to be great. Yeah, that was way longer than I wanted to be. Okay. Do you want to select it? Or do you want to? Yeah, sure. VM. No. Like, I don't understand how I, how I'm supposed to activate OSX VM activate. Okay. I thought I didn't have that file. I thought I looked for that and I didn't see it. Okay. I don't know. It's there now. Nice. Okay. So we're in this thing now. Hit install dash r require uh, source slash requirements at the XT. No, it's just, it's just top level. Require. Oh, it is in source. Okay. Cool. Perfect. I do have an old pip, and I could get a new pip, but I don't think that's my issue. Ooh, Django tests. Awesome. Oh, that's the one that was supposed to fail. This is old. Add failing test. Okay, well, it failed correctly. Nice job. Um, make test Django. Um, no module test without migrations. Yeah, okay. Because uh, now I need to do the pip install with this, except it's, uh, test. it's this one. Okay, closer. Something different happened. The above except global flags. Global flags not at the start of expression. Gotta be a different Python version thing or something, right? Oh, it's not even in this code base. Well, that's fun. Um, okay, well, what happened in these most recent actions? Hey, we made it to testing. Unique constraint failed. Oh, okay. Um, arena dot slug. Ah, that makes sense. Arena two. That's annoying though. Um, make a new arena. Um, but I'm also getting closer in my Python stuff, so I can actually like, uh, almost. 
run things. It failed on a different thing. Oh yeah, I want to see what kind of which version. Like what what version? Three ten eleven. Let's do three ten eleven. Deactivate. I am local. Three ten eleven. I am install three ten eleven. Brew update and brew upgrade I am. Come on, brew. You can do it. It's taking a lot longer than I expected here. How's the cloud doing? Oh, good. It's, we at least made it to testing. Let's just do brew upgrade. I think it's fine. I don't think I need a super up to date one. Brew upgrade. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, we got a new PyM. Almost. Upgrading dependence. Yeah, how about we don't do that? Um, like RM, RF, VM, get rid of you. Uh, Python, make a new VM. Source the activate script. Pip install requirements. And then we're going to do the test one as well. Just to make sure we've got everything installed. Okay, and then we do make test Django. Dang. Thought I had it that time. Um, well, what if I do the do this more manually? So you do the source. Oh, this is this is gonna be it. It's this manage pi. It's this thing. Yeah. Okay. Python. Okay, so it is doing the VM Python. Is it though? Because like this is pointing to home root Python. And 3.11.3 is not the one I told it to use. Oh gosh darn it. Deactivate. I am local. 3.10.11. I install. Yeah, I missed a few steps here. I need to get 3.10.11 installed. Okay, we're installing Python. Oh yeah, actually, what's happening with the cloud? I forgot, we're parallelizing everything here. Yeah, I freaking can't spell anything. I don't even want to be in the virtual room. That's funny. Oh. Um, Fix a typo. Also move my YubiKey so it's slightly closer to me while I'm streaming. Got 
that. Okay. Pushed, pushed. We're running, we're running. Awesome. Okay. Oh. Close this one. Awesome. RM. Dash RM. VM. Python. Local. This. Oh yeah, Python. I am but local. There we go. So now I do the VM. Python. Make a virtual M VM. There we go. Source it. Awesome. Pip install requirements file. Test requirements file. Make test Django. Dang it. Okay. It's something about a regex being busted, but like it doesn't make sense to me. Um, but I also might be that like I don't have a database. But it doesn't look like it's doing that. Like it looks like it's doing it without a database. I don't think these set up a database. source oh whoa I don't know why that was failing but I can just run the tests maybe locally like this oh then it gets to that interesting Database does this try to use, I wonder. Yeah, Postgres. True services list. Oh, true service. Uh, this is start Postgres QL at 14. Not sure if I think that'll help, but but would be nifty. Oh, that was the fixed typo. Cool. Um, tests failed. Oh, I have a print statement, and it does not like me having a print statement. Oh, here's this thing. We got nothing. Okay, well that's just interesting. I don't know what's going on with that. Um Wait. What? Wait, 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 wait. If it prints out Oh, yeah. For a match. Well, yeah, so how did we get zero here? I don't understand how that's the right answer. Num rounds. Inside each tier, generate matches as best as possible. Trim the result list to remove any empty sets at the end down to the minimum number. Okay, so it's just a little it's just a little frustrating because like I know what the fix is gonna be to this and I don't know what the test to prove that is. Um because I don't want match mode, I want rank mode or something, isn't that what it's called? 
rating mode. Get ranked leaderboard. It's like basically what I want to do. Sort of function. Yeah, so this sort of function, I like that. Snakes get leaderboard snake rank map get rank position can manage snakes can view arena um okay so I want something like these do we repeat this sort function in multiple places? Oh, we totally do. Um, well, so I can like, just copy it, right? And so like where we're doing this, um, it's in a different file. Arena.py? Where was it? It's in... No. Uh, do, 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 do. Services. Oh. We're in a... Com like, I was just in a completely wrong spot. Okay. League matching. League matching. There we go. Okay. Just have to keep finding it. Uh, so, like, I think here is where I want to, like, have this. Oh, I need an arena. Okay, I have an arena there, though. Yeah, okay. Um, so we have a sort function. Yeah. So that my key here can be the sort function. That's the fix. Um, but the problem is that I don't know how to test that yet. I mean, this is definitely the fix. Um. Oh, but then this uses tier points even more. Four snakes assert that they're oh yeah see so okay so I could sort by this with current tier points oh so we're just walking up just making sure that the tier like they're always increasing in tier points what's the point of that isn't that exactly what this sort did When did we set current tier points? Wait, what? This isn't even used for anything. Is 
if current tier points are greater than is that to make it so that ranks are the same I want to do this. I want to do this. I think I want to say this is always going to be the case. And you just go through them. And you just do the thing. I don't know about this. So... Wait a second. Ordered by Mew. And then we just reordered them here. So it just doesn't the order by Mew here is not helpful. Also oh, oh okay, there we go. Ordered by Mew. Negative score. That's not Mew, that's score, but that's fine. Okay, yeah, but like then they get shuffled and resorted. So it doesn't really this order by isn't relevant. It's true, but it's just not relevant. Um, okay, so then we we get all the snakes, we reorder them based on the sort function. Um, make a participant for each one. Create round here. Make matches till we can't make matches anymore. Okay, so you keep trying to make matches with some participants. Um, round, so then you add the match. Track unmatched snakes in the round. Okay. Four matches in that. Matches. Like, get the participants out. Okay. I guess what I'm not sure about is why my test. Okay, so, like, this is. I think this is the fix. I think this is the fix. But, like, I don't really want to commit this yet. Um. What do I, like. Get. Diff. Save for later. Yeah, do I just do that? Yeah, you just do it. Awesome. Um, answer. Dot diff. Oh, let's put it on like my desktop. Let's just do there. Uh, be snake play diff. Awesome. Yay. Okay, awesome. Uh, we got that diff recorded. I want to do a cat to make sure it doesn't have colors. It does not. Awesome. Okay. Um, and now I'm gonna do reset hard, and now I can go back to my test case because that's what is gonna prove to me whether I did anything or not. Um, and I was so close to getting this to work. Not a valid regular expression. Oh, there's environment variables that I might need. A uh, dev container. Those don't look exciting, though. I could install a new pip. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it's even a different version than this. Uh, deactivate. 
Science install. Da, da, da. Um. Okay. Well, making it one step farther. Um, oh yeah, so I should just get rid of my print. It's not helping anything. Well, actually, no, it actually did help me figure out that, like, it, it, it's doing something. Uh, generate match rounds. Number of rounds. Four X in zero to two. So we create more than we're supposed to. Then they still got emptied here. We are going to cap the matching attempts at two times the number of rounds requested. Yeah, like I don't really feel like I understand. These code paths. Hmm. The pie of local didn't take. Pi and version. Yeah. Spelling is hard. Yeah, that's the wrong version. Oh, pi m version. I think though if I source this thing. Oh no, it still thinks. Oh. Okay. So that's interesting. Deactivate. RMRF VN. I am local. Local. That's weird. Yeah, that's the right one there. Um, huh. Let me source it. Yep. And then, like, yeah, it's, it's the same. And do it again because I made a new one, but, like, I don't think this is the issue. Make Django test, test Django, yeah. Then there's the other one, which is CD to source. That one. Oh, no, that's the make migrations one. That one. And this one gets farther, but it definitely didn't work. Okay, so let's go back to these tests that I'm messing with. Um... Python, Python, 
3.11 not valid radio rate expression. Oh, cool. This actually might be... Um, that actually might be part of the problem more than I thought. Um, okay, so... Deactivate... I am... set up... Uh, where's the thing that sets it up? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, there we go. There we go. Is that just not happening right? That's annoying. Okay, so let's make a virtual M. Source it. Wait, 310.5. What's 310.5? That's not what I want either. Gosh darn it. So close. Deactivate. I am local. 310.11. Okay. Perfect. Um, RM. RM, RF, source, VM. Get rid of that. Um, Python, make a VM. Perfect. Make the VM. Uh, and now activate it. Activate it pip install in it. No, why is it 3.11 now? Deactivate. Python rm rfbm um, oh, is it get ignored and that's why I didn't see it? I'd kind of buy that. Source. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Making progress, maybe. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow, so Python 3.11 breaks this app. That's good to know. Okay. We are ready to, we are rocking and rolling. I broke so many things. Oh, SAS not found. Okay, that's ignorable. Fan SAS not found. Okay, so I probably want to fix those if I want my locals to be useful. Um, but that's at least, that's doable. Oh, uh, can I just like brew install SAS? Oh, it's probably dark sass is what I want. Oh. Brew dark sass. Oh, no, that's what I not what I want. I think, yeah, I think the only sass is the dart sass. Yeah, okay, awesome. We're getting a version of sass. It's gonna take just a second. 
That's gonna be the wrong version of SAS too, for to be fair. So, yeah, then yeah, it's it's the wrong version, but maybe it'll just be fine. I think we're gonna get this working, which is exciting. Okay, let's try tests again. Um, yeah, I didn't actually mean to change that to two for this run. Uh, so let's see if that, that did that or not. Referenced before assignment. Yeah, that, that's fair. Okay. Um, let's stop the make file because I think I can do this a little bit faster. Like, CD source. Um, and then like, can I run a specific file? Like. Can I pass you a file? Uses or, or a path to a directory instead. Let's just run all of them, I guess it's fine. Well, maybe there's something that maybe there's something in the README about this. Unit test. Nope, nothing about running a specific unit test, but that's okay. Yeah, so now they're just two empties. Like, okay. Obviously, something's a little silly in my test setup here. Um, I can make there be more snakes. That could be interesting. It's an empty thing again. Um, uh, I don't think that has anything to do with it, but I do think I want to set the games played to a different thing yeah um because i just want to set that, that to a different thing oh can i copy this um haha <laughs> so much better 13 tests now, not instead of the whole thing. I'll take it. Still got to set up the test database, but way better. Okay, so like, why am I not getting matches? Yeah, no, save it to self -flat arena. It's fine. Use self -flat arena. That, that's definitely not what's going on. Uh, min match size. Yeah, that's that's the thing that I want to set to two for duels. 
I just like I'm not getting it to do anything basically. Like obviously my my asserts are a little silly. Oh, okay. Two doesn't equal one. That's better. Line 307. Oh, well. That actually wasn't much more. Oh, but they're still empty. See that? That that thing. This just says that I got those back, but like... nine so that's this one yeah they're still just freaking empty okay oh I need this I didn't realize I needed this I need to create some tears apparently Let's make four snakes again. Go back to one. Go back to one here. There we go. Let's try that out. Okay. Much better. Okay, let's change this back down to two because I want duels again. I didn't remember I had left it. But this that was much better. I just had to freaking make tears. Okay. The leaderboard snake two and three. Three and zero and one. Yeah, so zero and one and then two and three. Awesome. Wait, that was actually what I wanted. Wait, 316? Yeah, no, no. So that should be two matches. There should be two matches there. Yep. Yep. That that's the that that's right there. Oh my gosh, it's actually gonna fail for the right reasons. Actually, really, all I should do is just make sure that they have the same tier points. Way easier. So I thought assert equals. Just, yeah, just make sure they have the same tier points. Make sure there are two snakes in the match. Make sure they have the same gear points. If they wait, is tier points the right thing though? Uh, um, score. If they do, we are match making um, correct. Okay, so this is going to fail.
Oh, failing. We ended up passing. Dang it. Wait a sec, so their scores are matching up? Oh yeah. Oh wait, that's not what had happened with before though. So there's some random chance going on here. Okay, so maybe I need more snakes. Yeah, okay. Um, but it's just not deterministic if I make this seven. I don't know if that's really going to change anything. It's still going to be... I guess it's just... I think this should decrease the chance of a flake. It should fail more often this way. So, failed once. Yeah, uh, no, that's a failure. Okay, cool. I, I think this is failing better now. These are just like essentially random. Not essentially random, right? Zero and one should be by snakes who are near you and ID number. Okay, I think this is reasonable. Get a failing spec that I think makes sense. Honestly, not up. 100% sure it makes sense, but I think it does. Um, get diff from file restore. Uh, I just like have a diff file and what do I want to, how do I do something with it? Um, let's try this. Am I not like signed in at all? Mm, let's see. How easy is this gonna be? I guess I'm just gonna do it. It's fine. Boop, boop, boop. Awesome. How do I restore a changes.diff file? Get apply. Uh, blah, 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 be snake. Hmm. Dang it. Okay, um, so can we code this thing so that I can just remove this? Ha! <laughs> okay, let's see. Moment of truth. Does my test pass? The other moment of truth is do all the other tests still pass? Hmm. 
not passing. So like I really want zero and like to definitely be paired together. Um Hmm. Let's see if this if I can make this test different. Um, so the if the absolute value of I of I don't want an absolute value thingy. Uh like the dupe um if it's if it's less than or equal to one, or if it's greater than or equal to subtracting two, that's like definitely not a better test. The funnier test. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm in my picture. Um, I'm making these bigger, right? So then I'm I'm adding another one of these here for the two, and then like you know this becomes three, and then four and then there's another one of these and then this becomes five and six something like this um but i'm actually doing it as seven which means that i guess i can just draw that out that 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 goes to there that goes there and this is seven uh software update don't do that yeah see but it's still matching up around that zero went with four Five went with two, six went with one. Um, so like one, I'm just not even sure if it's hitting my code pass. Oh wait, 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 wait. I thought I changed this here. If I didn't, then that's an easy answer. Uh, like if I, I, I just need to drop in this function Um, it's like underscore underscore, uh, of sort, 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 sort funk. Yeah, it's this thing. Uh, then this is sort function. now this might actually match up better I my, my get apply thingy didn't do anything <laughs> oh wait 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 generate wait whoa, generate match rounds versus generate matches oh which one do I care about? That's interesting. Generate matches. Generate match rounds. Wait, which one's being used? Oh no. Generate match rounds. So generate match rounds. Generate match rounds.
Yep, and then like this I can delete, 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 always do. But I also want to look at inside the create round and then create match. Select seed. Okay. There's, there's a lot going on here. What are the types of matchmakers? There's a league matchmaker. Yeah. League matchmaker. It's prioritize unmatched seed Gaussian window opponent selector. Oh man. Window plus minus. Got it. These just call seed dot delta. The seed is on a participant. Okay. Rank. Where rank is the thing we populate. Okay, so where were we making the participants? That's the rank that's used for those things. Okay, so where are we making the participants? Generate match rounds. Here is where we make the participants from this. Yeah, so this sorting will impact this. Yep. So I think I did something, but I think we're also within seven of each other, so I need to make this bigger. Um Okay, so if if, if it's seven, okay, so let's 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 adjust this test to be really about the seven that I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so num snakes is gonna be like twenty-one, and if it's less than Seven or greater than that. So like you know. Um perfect. Print out everything. There should only be one round. I don't know how many matches there are gonna be. Four match in matches. If the count of matches count of a leaderboard snake, um, no, 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 um, so now I want to say who is the first snake matched with and who is the last snake matched with? Um, I want to say that they have to be um, within seven of each other. Or, like, you know, they have to be the same, like, tier points. Nope, that's not true, because they could be in a random order, and they could be right next to that, and then... Um... 100 minus i 
so that So it starts at 100 and then it goes 99, 98, 97. So there's an actual explicit order to it. Yeah, because then if I do it that way, the first, well, no, that, then they're not equal anymore. So I lose that ability. Huh. This is an interesting one. I, I still am moderately confident in the fix here um but i'm not positive in my test i'm very very not confident in my test Thirteen with ten, fourteen with seven, seventeen with sixteen. Yeah, well this is going through and saying they're all like that, which is just not true. Um if match at zero dot um it's a leaderboard snake. Tier points, yeah, so if I look for tier points equals zero, or... No, like if it's just equal to zero. Yeah, so we find... Oh, no. It's or match at one dot tier points equals zero. Um, in this case, though, they've got to be the same. Is that what I'm saying? The first snake must be matched with a snake with the same score. The first snake must be matched with a snake with the same score. I don't even know if that is like meaningful. Yeah, so it passed that time. It was gonna continue to pass. can adjust this a tiny bit or should I just leave it I think I should just leave it, it it's fine um okay so there's two uh, this one I think I want to revert this part like we want to revert that and revert that and revert that. It's just this one. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
we make enough if we um want to make sure that when the rating mode is set to score we do match making with snakes with a similar score here we set up 21 snakes Fourteen of which have a score zero. Their tier points go from zero to twenty. We generate a round and then make sure that these um, the ones with a score of zero are in the middle when ordered by their tier points. And then make sure that the snake with tier point zero is matched with uh make with uh snake with a similar score um if we were to match by tier points the snake with zero premium points would be matched with a snake with or zero okay so i want to adjust this a little bit because i actually like this a lot uh so 21 snakes seven of which will have a score of zero and the rest have a score of zero uh one of which has a score of 100 six of which have a score of zero and the rest have a score of zero The, the first tier point zero goes to score one hundred. Tier point one to like fifth fourteen or whatever goes to zero. 15 to 20 goes to 99. Perfect. Okay, so now I have to actually do this, which is fine. Um, 100, if I equals equals 0, else 99, yeah, if I is greater than 15, else 0. This should, like, I think I like this test better. Um, so assuming this still passes. No, oh, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Um. Uh, snake with a score of 99. Um, so I think I just want to split this up. We can do, if it's the first one, then we do self dot assert equals, uh, yeah, that and 99, um, else if that, then that, perfect. Um, cool. So, yeah, whichever snake we have in the zero, the, the other match of it has a score of 99. I could also have just tested the points equals 100, but it doesn't matter. Perfect. 
Okay. Um. C A Tech M. Um. Make the unit test better and apply my fix. Uh, G check out head append two. Um, uh, actually G L S. Um, G check out D A two F three D three B dash dash. Uh, that source app. Oh, I'm already there. So app arenas. App arenas. Uh, matching system league matching system. Matching system league. Matching system dot five. Dang it. Uh, league matching system. This. Uh, copy old path. G. Check out B A. Two F three D three B. That file path. There we go. CD to source. Run the test again. Now I think they're going to fail. That would be the idea. If they fail here, we are good to go. Come on. Come on, tests. You can do it. Dang it. That was supposed to fail. I really wanted that one to fail. Dang it. Wait, where'd zero go? Oh, wait, they didn't get matched? Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Um, that's pretty funny. I didn't think of that case. Um, did match first snake. Um, did match first snake equals true. Did match first snake equals true. Assert. Uh, self dot self dot assert true did match first snake okay there we go and then if I uh, unstage changes, get rid of those changes, now the test should pass again. There's a chance that that is going to make this flaky, though, but I think it's better than the alternative. Fail the test if the first snake did not get matched. Okay, um, I think I'm ready to make this into a PR, which is pretty fun.
This game's played was just added to get myself over the minimum here. I didn't want to think about it too much. Okay. Let's start writing a description here. This attempts to fix the issues we are seeing with match making especially in the standard duels arena the ranking mode is set to league rank for all the standard leagues this is supposed to pick opponents based on your position in the leaderboard. The standard leaderboards also have score, is it score mode? Score something. Score rating mode. They have rating mode. That to score. This means the leaderboard is Sorted based on the uh, leaderboard snake uh, score as opposed to leaderboard snake dot tier points, which is used if rating mode is set to points. The bug is that the league rank match, what is league rank match, um, is that the league rank, what is it called? League matching system. Uh, the bug is that the league matching system was not taking into account the uh, arena's uh, rating mode when um, ordering these snakes for matchmaking. It was always sorting by tier points, which um, made the match making not <laughs> match um, the order um, snakes were being displayed in. The fix was to steal the underscore underscore sort function um, method that was used in a couple of other places to do the ordering for this code path. This takes into account the um, arena's um, settings. This takes into account the arena settings for rating mode. Um, and also now I think I need to do some, uh, uh, my, like, I have some formatting things that are wrong. Cool. Um, what's the linter? So I did the format, what's the linter? Blink line contains white space in one line. Oh, is that the same thing? Yep, awesome. And let's just run this to make sure. Linting takes way longer than the formatter. I guess that makes sense. Did I not run it? Sometimes I like paste something and it like wraps, but I didn't actually hit enter. Come on. 
like stop while processing files like there's that many files that you couldn't process okay i think we're gonna wrap up here in a minute Uh, matchmaking, ordering, fixes. Um, stole this from other code paths. Do we want to do the min games required? Check here. I didn't follow its other usages too far back, but it feels like this mapping system probably doesn't need to care about the min games required. But not sure about that. Um, I believe this was just some dead code. Uh, cur tier points was never updated. Um, and assuming tier points is positive is, uh, non-negative. I believe this, uh, I believe this change is equivalent. Uh, um, there's something else I wanted to call out though. Um, generate matches. above also does a sort without looking at um, arena.rating mode. From my code tracing, this one seemed like the important one, but maybe we want to uh, make this change in both. Cool. Awesome. Um, is this going to make the test flaky? Flaky. Is it always possible the snake will get unlucky and not get matched oh i can fix that that only happens because i have 21 snakes make this 20 and my problem's gonna go away Oops, uh, whoop. Whoa, that was fun. Uh, CD to source. Python that. Um, so I can fix my flake by changing it to an even number. I had an odd number of snakes. I had 21 snakes. So every time I made a match, someone couldn't get made. Like, it's just even and odd. But I didn't need 21. That, like, wasn't a magic number, really. I just needed like more, I probably could have done it with like eight or nine at a minimum. Um, but doing it with 20 is perfect because now this should never happen. Um, we should always have a match for the first snake uh, since we 
are doing duels match making with an even number of snakes uh, make sure this test can't flake or at least in this case in this one case we it won't flake i can't promise it won't flake in a different way um and with that i think that's gonna wrap us up here basically um, I will click on the mark this as ready for review button and I will send it over to the Battlesnake team for people to take a look at and if everything is looking good we will try to get it merged in and see how it goes. Um, I also could just like rebase all of these away but it's fine. I'm on stream doing it anyways so it's not like I can hide my hide my embarrassing commits uh let's just let these actions run i'm pretty positive these are all going to pass i actually didn't run specs for the entire thing just on my file but i don't think i made any changes that i think will break anything else and one reason for that is we're not using the ranking mode score in many places most of them seem to default to tier Cool. Get in, ready to do tests. Okay, come on, get some pips done. Okay, installing all the packages that it downloaded. I think we have like 30 or 40 seconds left and we are going to be good to go. Okay, we are running our make now. Creating our test database. And then our tests are going to be off and running. I think they all should just pass and we shouldn't have to think about it. Um, and we'll be good to go. Do, 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 do. I was hoping this was going to be just a tad faster, but it's okay. I also don't know if I'm going to get any output while they're running, or if it's just going to stay there until it's basically just done. How long does you... Oh, I never was running all the tests. Oh yeah, it's going to run all of them. Okay, well, I can also do that locally. Let's see. See how long it takes to do locally. See, see who wins. Oh, I need to remove those prints. Dang it. Oops, forgot to remove the print. Well, so that's going to fail tests. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait, two of them failed. Ooh, that's not good. Why'd you get matched with Snake 1? Gosh darn it. Dang, why did that happen? I'm 100 if it's 0, else 99 if. I is greater than 15 else zero. Yeah. Dang. That might be a real failure. I'm not positive about that though. Like it's just confusing a little bit because um why is it confusing? Just because I don't think that was possible. I guess it's not confusing for any good reason. It's just it's a little confusing. Um, but I think we're going to wrap up here for the day. We made a lot of good progress, and I think we have this PR pretty ready to go. Um, I'm going to wait for tests to go green before I mark it ready in GitHub here, but I think we are uh, going to open this up and at least see what people think about it and uh, maybe learn some more after that. 
Um, so yeah, thanks for coming along and hanging out with me today, everyone. I think we are going to wrap up here. I will be back on Sunday with another Battlesnake stream, likely. And uh, if you want a more Battlesnake in the meantime, check out play.battlesnake.com to get started. Or if you want to hang out and chat with me, uh, come join my Discord. You can find the link in my Twitch or GitHub profile. And if you enjoyed, please give me a uh, favorite and a subscribe on Twitch. Or if you really, really liked it, you can go donate on GitHub sponsors. And with that, I am going to get out of here for the evening. I hope everyone had a great Wednesday and had some fun digging into Battlesnake. I definitely did, and glad we were able to get a PR out of it. And so with that, I will see everyone later. Have a good week, and uh, take care, team. Bye.